Wait, let me keep my little confidence showing, girl. Gotta have that confidence, okay? <laughs> no, but hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and you guys, this is the time, okay? Like, I don't even know how to express this, but the time has finally come. Dang, I've been saying this for at least a year, you guys. And so, I finally get to share my powders with you, finally get to share my powder with you also i do have a t-shirt line hashtag confidence is key ladies you know what i mean like it's not just a saying like we really mean this thing okay so what i'm gonna do the way that i decided to do this video because i cannot try everything on for you guys i decided to take my concealer right the concealer that i usually rock every time i do my makeup and i am going to place it all over my arm and i'm going to set each section of my arm with those powders so you guys can see how they operate okay now i don't know how many takes we're gonna have to do to do this because i'm looking at the table right now and i'm like Bruh. so we're gonna zoom into my arm this will be the last time you see my face okay so take a picture just kidding so i'm just gonna say right now have an awesome blessed day love y'all thank you for the support make sure you join c key uncut girl if you haven't because we have so much fun over there i totally just did my gospel playlist and i did a sing along so it's awesome but anyway so we're gonna go through these powders but these are the concealers that i will be using on my arm i'm gonna apply them with a brush my little handy dandy elf brush so here's how we're gonna do it guys i'm gonna name off the products as i take them off my table and then i'm only gonna place them like somewhere on the screen as I'm swatching them, okay? I think that's gonna work. Now, let me tell you the ones I haven't really used so much. So this one right here, I have not really used. This is the Milani. I just wanna let you guys know so we could do another video in the future. This one I haven't used either. This is the Urban Decay Velvetizer. I definitely wanna use that because people are saying that you can use this. As a matter of fact, it says you can use this as a mattifier for any foundation. And this one right here is the Lancome Translucent Powder. I have not used this, so I will have to revisit this later. We have the MAC CC Prep and Prime. We will be talking about that. We also have the Ofra Pressed Banana Powder. And you guys, I did take notes on these products so that hopefully I wouldn't forget anything. Now we have this one. This is by Becca, you guys. And I honestly, I'm having a hard time getting it back on there like it's supposed to be. I think it's like a blur powder, golden hours, what it's called. And I'll have to soft light blurring powder, I believe. I used this one time, so I don't think it would be fair to talk about it that much. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Then we have the Ofra Loose Banana Powder. I showed you this for the purpose of having different banana powders. I don't remember what colors they are. I think this is topaz, this is banana, and I think that's clay. So I have another container like this where I do makeup when I freelance, but this one is my personal one. We have the Ben Nye neutral set and oh it's really bright so it's hard to see that then we have the graftobian professional makeup which is what i have been loving over the last i don't know maybe month i don't think it's been two months so probably the last month and then we have inglot and I have not tried this powder yet, so I'm gonna put that to the side, but I wanna let you guys know that I do have it. And then we have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and I do wanna let you guys know, I'm not gonna use this as an under eye setting powder, but it was in my collection, so I thought I would show you guys. But this is great to cover your pores before you apply your foundation. I did try it under my eyes one time, no bueno, don't ever do that. Then you have the Ben Nye Clay Powder. I actually use this as an all over setting powder. So this one right here is the Laura Mercy A Medium Deep Translucent Powder. I actually use this all over my face as a setting powder. And I also have the original one. Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Medium Deep Powder. I also have one in the shade 40. Shout out to Miss Kayla for sending it to me. Um, I love you girl, I appreciate you. And so I do have that one, the 40 you can use use as an all-over setting powder but the 30 I did a video on that comparing it to the Ben Nye then I also have these cover effects powders I have one in medium deep and then I have one in I believe it is light I have notes because y'all know I'm such a nerd so I have notes where I'm gonna break out my notes for you guys too I don't know how in the world we're gonna do this okay but let's see so for the Ben Nye powder my notes say it lasts all day gives me minimal creasing and I use it all by itself when I want more of like a beat face look I will have to put timestamps on this video because I have no clue how we're gonna work it out. But this is the regular Laura Mercier. And my note says that it creases a little more than I like, 
It offers dramatic highlighting. It's kind of ashy if you put too much, and I don't recommend baking with this, especially if you have lines under your eyes or if you have like a creasing problem, okay? And then the Benai Topaz Powder. I'm just gonna try to go through these really quickly. The ones that I did take notes on. The Benai Topaz Powder, it offers minimal creasing. It is designed to be long wearing for theatrical makeup. It is the perfect color for me for a subtle fresh highlight, but you have to be careful not to put too much because it can pull orange on you. And it is not a dramatic highlight when you use it by itself. Not for my skin tone anyway. Now the Sephora Bright Set, I would only use this during the week. It gives a subtle highlight. It is not extremely blendable and I feel like it sits on top of the skin. The Air Spun is similar to banana powder. It's just not as yellow. It smells so delish. These are literally my notes. It's great to use during the week. It's affordable, but it can be kind of ashy if you use too much. And then the Sasha Buttercup, I have a whole like video where I compare this to banana powder, but it tends to draw attention to my under eye bags, especially if I'm tired. It can provide flashback if you use too much and use it with a light hand. Go over it with your setting powder, your face setting powder, but it does last a long time with minimal creasing. But if you do have a line problem, it definitely can be drying and it can make it look crepey and make you look a little older, all right? Finally, the NARS Mountain Powder. First off, um, it does give you slight creasing after seven hours, which is still great though. It gives a nice subtle highlight and it's great to add to your collection as a full face setting powder. Like it doesn't give you too much flashback or a very, very like almost non-existent highlight, okay? And that is all I have in my notes. The rest, we are gonna let the video do the talking, girl. First things first, let's remove this bracelet. Ones that are similar is the LA Girl Pro and the Maybelline Fit Me. These remind me a lot of each other and I feel like, along with the Ofra, where is the Ofra? Because that is similar as well. These are like really, they're, they're fine milled, but they're so soft to where you don't want that area to be damp when you're applying that powder. You want to like blend that area out so that it's not like super wet because I feel like the powder, it like, I don't know, the wetness draws it closer to it and then you're stuck with like, like, you know, little cakey patches on your face. I don't know if that light is too bright, but let's blend it out. I'm going to take these sponges right here and we're gonna use these babies. I just hope this works out the way I envisioned it, okay? Everything is everywhere because we're working, all right, you guys? But you see what I mean? See how the Ofra, it's like when you place it on, it is a little bit like kind of patchy, if you will, or a little cakey, but you really have to blend it out really well. The same thing with the LA Girl. It reminds me of the Ofra one as well, but this one is a little bit lighter, okay? It's not quite banana-like. So this is what that looks like. And if you see, it's the same kind of situation. Like you wanna make sure that you blend it, but this is a great affordable buy. I tell you, this is more than a notion. I didn't think I was gonna have to work so hard. Okay, now this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the number 30, and this one is a little bit deeper, okay? It's not like super banana-like, but it, it, it kind of reminds me more of Topaz. But you see, you have to make sure that you apply a little bit at a time and that, you know, it is not super wet when you apply it. Now, one thing about that Estee Lauder concealer is that it actually dries very matte and is very bomb, okay? So that's a good alternative for the drugstore. It's a good option. And I did a video on it, but be careful if you have lines under your eyes because it gave me somewhat of a hard time. So the NARS one is not really banana-like. It is more of like a skin tone powder but this is a real great one. You see how it's not like super cakey, but it really blends in. Only reason I haven't, I'm definitely not giving this away, but the only reason I haven't really been using it is because it's not much of a highlight for me. Let's do Sasha. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess, y'all. Now, I'm using a new sponge. See how much I love y'all? I'm using a new one every time I try it. So the Sasha is so bomb. Everyone loves Sasha. The only thing for me is that it's drying, but look how finely milled that is and how it just, you know, it just blends out. I put a lot, but it blends out and it gives you like that bomb highlight, if you guys can see that. There you go. Oh, that airspun smells so good. Okay, now the airspun, 
is really neutral and it feels like baby powder or smells like baby powder. So for me, I couldn't really get with this one. Do you see how ashy that looks? Like you would have to really, really, really use a light hand to make that work for my skin tone, okay? But I do know a lot of people that love it and A, hey, if it works for you, honey, use it. So there you go with that. So this long comb, I feel like it's like really like neutral and I don't typically like to put neutral, you know, under my eyes. Oh, but it's blending pretty good, you guys. Now I haven't tried this one. This is my first time, but I definitely wanted to swatch it to show you guys. Not bad. So as you guys can see, I will go for more of the colors that have more like a banana tone. But to be honest, this is not that bad. And I hope you guys understand, like my eyes would be like screaming at me if I tried to do this under my eyes. So let's move forward with the arm. Be right back. I'm doing the same thing. I'm about to put the concealer on. Oh, I am wasting my double wear concealer. That's how y'all know I got nothing but love for you, baby. I'm gonna go into the Sephora powder and it gives you a nice banana, but I feel like you see how that Sephora powder let me move this over here. You see how that Sephora powder just sits? It kind of just sits there and I don't like that. I don't know, maybe if you put a little bit, but it's kind of ashy and it just sits there. I would only use this powder for like during the week. Now this one right here is the Topaz. And I told you guys, it kind of pulls orange, okay? So you have to be careful when you use that, but it is great. It is exactly like banana powder, but I feel like even if you have deep skin, you may be able to get away with using this as a setting powder all over, but be very careful because sometimes as the day goes by, that orange gets oranger. And so since we're doing that, let's do the banana powder now. If I had to rate these, I would do the Graftobian first, then the banana powder, because I feel like the Graftobian, which we haven't got to it yet, so let's wait. But banana powder, oh, how I love thee. And it may be pulling like a little bit ashy on my arm, but you just have to make sure you blend it in. It is theatrical makeup, so it is gonna last. It is gonna stay in place. It's gonna last through sweating. It's gonna last through even probably water. I don't even know, I haven't tested it, but sweat for sure, so I'm thinking it will. Now, this is the Laura Mercier. This is the regular one, you guys. Now, I could not really get into this regular one because it's just too ashy for me. Like, a lot of people compare it to the Ben Nye, but to me, it creases quicker than the Ben Nye does, and it's a little more stark white than the banana powder is. So for me, I never really like, it never became a love thing for me. I will go to the other color. So there you go. It kind of blends in, but even still, I just felt like it would accentuate certain areas that I didn't want to accentuate. But with that being said, we're going to move on. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Deep. And so as you could see, it is pretty much setting like my skin tone. But if I wanted to use it and get the most, the most subtle highlight, I could do that depending on what concealer I use. Like if I were to use this, I would probably go a little lighter. But I have used this to set all over my face and life was absolutely great. You see how the love is real? You see how the love is real? I use like half of the pack on y'all. That's cause I love y'all. You don't love y'all? <laughs> okay. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the Cover FX, it actually has, ooh, and it's hard to show because it's white, but it actually has this little applicator that, um, or it actually goes on top of the sifter and it keeps everything in place. So that is really, really cool. This is the light Cover, cover FX powder. I don't think I've ever used this one. I think I used the neutral one, but this color is bomb though. Everything about it is nice. I just think that the colors weren't my exact colors that I like, but I think that you guys will love them because the consistency, the staying power, and the way it applies is all great. It's just that I'm kind of picky when it comes to my um, setting powders and it just wasn't yellow enough for me. So I just never like gravitated to it too much because I have all these other powders, if that makes sense. This one right here is the medium deep one and it may be looking a little lighter on camera. I'm not sure, I'll try to fix my settings, but you could use this to set all over your face. 
And so you guys know, I love my BH Cosmetics powder to set all over my face. I love my Lancome powder, the um, dual powder, and I also love the Iman Cosmetics powder. And so I don't typically use loose powders to set all over my face a lot because they can be messy. So that's probably why I haven't gone into this Cover FX, but this one is definitely nice. As you can see, it blends really great. Now these are the kind of powders that I like that blend all the way into the skin. No, now that right there, they can have my number. I'll give them my number. We can kick it. <laughs> But anyway, the final one that I saved for last is the Graftobian. Let me just show you the lid because I can honestly say that this trumps my Ben Nye. I think this will be first and Ben Nye will be second because not only does it blend and have like that banana consistency like the Ben Nye does, but I feel like it more so melts in the skin and you don't even have to work. Like, I don't know if you guys see that. Like it's light, like I'm gonna even add a little more. I feel like you can get put a little more. I feel like if I wanted to bake, I could do it a little more with this, but I already have a video on why I don't bake, okay guys? So I'm not gonna go into it now, but just look how it melts into the skin. It is really an amazing product that I've only been using for, I don't know if it's been a month or two, but I have been reaching for this over my Ben Nye. And oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? There is one more powder that I think is in my makeup kit, so I don't have it right now, but it is the RCMA powder. Let me see if I could get it real quick. So this product I had to get out of my kit for you guys. I take this and I take the Laura Mercier Medium Deep, but this right here you can use on all skin tones. I have not witnessed any flashback. I can use it to set under eyes, but I have used this on deeper skin tones, people that have skin tones deeper than myself. And so this is definitely a great buy and you can get it all for like 10 bucks at one of these trade shows. Only thing, I just wish they had it in something different. I am making a mess, oh my gosh, you guys, it looks like I've been baking. I've been baking, I've been baking. We're gonna put it right here. But I love it, like even though it's super duper white, it kind of blends down and it sets into the skin. And I actually have a video where I compare this to the Ben Nye powder, so there you go. Look at that, it looks like flour. But I hope you guys appreciate this video. I wanted to help you guys out. I wanted to show you guys your options. I told you that I have a series going so far. I did the concealers, I did the brow products, and now I'm doing the setting powders. Y'all have an awesome blessed day, and uh, I'm trying to thumbs up. How can I do that? Boom, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean? Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the CQ Beauty. Yeah, CQ Beauty. Beauty.